Hey guys, Lum here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of my GTA San Andreas Let's Play series, and this is episode 34. And as you can tell by the background, this is the abandoned airstrip, and we actually had to go and buy this in the previous episode, uh, for Treno, I believe. And, yeah, well, it wasn't that expensive, it was only 80 fucking grand, so, uh... Yeah, we, we spent quite a bit on that, but uh, I did say in the previous episode, even if it wasn't for the main story, I would have probably bought it anyway, because it does bring back a lot of childhood memories from playing this game, where you used to take off on the plane and you used to get the jet over there, I think, and it does bring back a lot of memories. So, um, yeah, we're going to carry on with the main story. I do believe this is a main story anyway, because uh, we haven't had a phone call from Toronto or, any or anything yet, so... That S represents a uh, school, like the advanced driving school that we did. So I take it this is the advanced flying school. That's my guess. And I take it we have to do it as part of the main story. So this will count as a proper episode in a, in opposition to the uh, side episode we've done for the advanced driving school. So, um, yeah, we're going to head off and do this advanced flying school, I take it, and see where it takes us. Well, Carl, so what do you think of our new base of operations? It's missing something. Maybe a tennis court and a pool will help motivate me better. Very nice call, very cute. Uh, so listen, now, <clears throat> you're gonna have to learn how to fly. No, I ain't. Yes, actually you are. I set out a series of tests for you. You can access them on that TV. You're gonna have to prove to me that you can fly if you're gonna continue working towards your brother's freedom. Shit, whatever, man. Very nice. Okay, so just before we start the actual flying school, I thought we were going to get into it then, but uh, it turns out this, that this is definitely now part of the main story. So this is our uh, new base of organisation, it seems, uh, as Torreno described. So this is uh, sort of... It's, I don't know if it's a hideout, there's not many people that would reckon, pe you know, people would be living in on this airstrip, so uh, it's sort of a good place to be hiding now, and um, Treno said we, we had to learn to fly to carry on towards our brother's freedom, which is Sweet's freedom, and that probably means there's going to be quite a lot of flying missions coming up, and I'm really, really excited about that, actually, because I described in, uh, I think back in San Fierro, when we had to go to the airport, and I said, we, hadn't, we haven't actually had any flying missions yet, any proper, you know, plane missions, and um, that's quite, you know, upsetting for me, because I love flying in GTA, and we're on the third island, we haven't flown a single plane yet, I don't think, not properly, apart from that little RC plane anyway, so uh, yeah, we haven't actually done any proper flying, so... This should be good fun. It should be good fun for you to watch, and probably good fun for me <laughs> to get uh, the hang of as well. So, let's answer the phone and see who it is. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's the flying coming along? Yeah, well, shit, man, I was gonna holler at you about that, because, you know, I'm... Will you listen to yourself? Admit it. You're scared. Maybe just a little. Until you've walked right into the middle of a Bedouin armed dealer's camp with nothing but a briefcase full of cash, you don't know the meaning of fear. Oh, yeah? Try going to the swap me night of wood sometime. Learn to fly, Carl. Yes, all right, Toreno. I'm going to learn to fly. I'm just explaining myself quickly. So, uh, we're going to head on. Uh, Toreno's getting a bit impatient. And as I was saying, it's good to have, you know, some indication that there's going to be fly missions uh, very soon. And I am a huge fan of flying in this game. So, uh, let's get straight on with the fly mi uh, flying school, even. And I don't know if it's set out the same way as the driving school. Uh, learning to fly. Yes, it is. So... We've got to get gold or better, basically. Okay, take off. Get 70% or higher or above to pass. So, uh, it's great to see that we're going to be having, you know, fly missions soon. And we've got to learn to fly, basically. I, as I was saying, I, I do enjoy flying in uh, GTA and other games as well. And I, I find that I am good at flying, uh, without sounding too modest. I think I'm a good, like... Pilot, I just, I don't think I'm the best, obviously, but I think I'm capable of flying a plane quite well. That's just my, uh, you know, feeling of how I fly planes. Okay, when the plane tail raises, pull, hang on, what do we got to do? There we go, and pull up. That was, I don't know what I was supposed to be doing then, that was just a guess. Head for the per first cor corona. Corona, that's a part of your eye, isn't it? I don't know, that might, <laughs> that's bringing back my science days. Uh, as the plane climbs and falls, the altitude meter uh, to the left of the radar will rise. Push the left stick down. I know how to fly a plane. It's funny how it teaches us to fly a plane um, at this point in the story, even though we've we've already had to fly a plane. That little RC plane. Uh, okay, that was that's gold. I think is that gold? Overall score, flying skill upgraded. That's awesome. New certificate awarded. So that, I'm pretty sure that's gold. Uh, hopefully it is anyway. So as I said, uh, like the driving school. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you do because it is quite fun to watch and very fun to do as well. So um, basically, I think that's gold. Is that gold? Does it? Yeah, there we go. So that is gold. Um, 
land plane. This might be a bit tougher. So uh, a, this, a lot of this will be, uh, I take it, interpreted into, uh, hang on, click, uh, head for the first container, into GTA 5. There's going to be a lot of plane flying in GTA 5, I believe, by helicopters and planes and all the things we've seen in the trailers. Lower your speed until, I think we've got a break on, we've got a land and then break in that, uh, in this thing here. That's my guess. Break. Break, 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 break. That's spot on, surely. Yep, gold. There we go. Time 20 seconds, 100%. Damage penalty, zero. Over 100%. So that's gold. As I was saying, I'm sort of... I don't want bronze. Bronze is pretty shit to me. Uh, I don't see myself as a success if it's bronze. It has to be silver or above. Silver is sort of... You know, above average, that's fine for me, but gold is where, really where I'm aiming. So I'm going to try and get gold for these. It might take a bit longer, but it's worth it. A circle airstrip. Okay, what do we have to do? Clockwise, count. which way do I prefer flying? Uh, clockwise, I think. I think, anyway. Uh, okay, take off. We've got to take off properly. This is the thing with GTA. It teaches you how to take off properly, but if you if you would have done this uh, just free roam, you would have just taken off with the wheels up, wouldn't you? You would have forgot about how to put the wheels in things. Bird, bird's better not get in my way. That'd be a bit worrying. Okay, um... Press them to turn the rudder. Okay, do I need to do that? Uh, okay, where are we going? It says I just fly like this. I don't worry about the uh, RB and LB crap. That's not very useful to me in a plane. I just turn like this. That's how I prefer to turn anyway. Uh, it's, it's, I think the RB and R, R, uh, LB thing is more useful in helicopters because you actually sort of get to turn. Uh, helicopters are quite weird to fly, I think. Planes are much more uh, effective, faster. Uh, they look cooler as well. That's my opinion on planes and things like that. So, um, it's trying to teach us things about the radar and the things. The radar in the bottom left is uh, your altitude, I think. How high you are. And it, I think uh, when you reach the top of that, it goes to another thing where it starts at the bottom. Because this game does go bloody high. It does go really high, if I remember correctly. So, silver, overall score, pilot's license, out of Okay, that's silver. We will try again for a gold later. Uh, I just want to get on with the thing for now. Circle airstrip and land. Okay. So this is the same thing, but we have to land, I take it. So uh, we'll go clockwise again, because that was 96%. The thing with gold, you have to get 100%, which is quite tough. Take off and climb steadily as per usual. Uh, okay, wheels go in. And the thing, this is... It depends what kind of plane you like flying as well. The, for me, I don't really like flying this type of plane. I prefer fly, uh, flying the big jets and, you know, sort of the stump plane. This is sort of like a warfighter plane, I, I believe, anyway. And the crop dust is pretty cool as well. Cause that's sort of like a stump plane. It, it, it seems like one, anyway. And uh, it's really cool to do. So I'm going to try and focus on these to get through the uh, Coronas at a decent... I, I don't know if it's all about speed or accuracy getting through these Coronas. I'm not sure. Uh, keep backing round and follow the Coronas. So this is basically what we've just done, but we have to land it on the end. So I doubt I'll get a gold on this. I highly doubt it. Because if I get a silver on just going round, let alone landing, I might even get a bronze. So uh, as I said, I'm going to try and aim for gold maybe at the end of this video if you want to keep watching. But um, it's probably the video will probably just be the flying score. I take it there's going to be quite a lot. Bank left and land down on the runway. Okay, uh, slow down. This could end badly. Okay, we've done this well before. As you can see, I'm a bit wobbly. I'm trying to keep it steady. Steady down, down, down. Land, land, and break in there. Stopping the targets over extra points. Gold! How can we get gold on the one where you have to go round and land, but not on gold when the one you've just got to go round? That's interesting. Uh, should, we, should we try that? Should we try the silver one again? Um, I'm going to try it again. I just want to sort of, as I said, I want to try for gold. Uh, Clockwise, that'll do. So, pull out. The weather's getting a bit more foggy, it seems. Take off and climb steadily, so it might be a bit tough to see these corona things. Um, but, anyway, GTA 5. The planes and helicopters we've seen so far has been quite a lot. We've got the usual from GTA 4. We've got the buzzards and the mavericks and the things. They're, they're the only... They're, that's, I've, I've explained this, I think, quite a few times in my series about why I believe they didn't include... Uh, why I believe they didn't include planes in Liberty City in GTA 4 because if you think if you had a plane in Liberty City it would take you like five seconds to get from one end of the map to the other if you know what I mean it takes like barely it takes like if anything a minute to get from one end to the other in a helicopter let alone a plane going you know twice the speed so I think that was the main reason because it wasn't appropriate and you wouldn't be using it very often and I'm probably gonna get a shit 
score on this now because I'm going a bit wobbly. I'm trying to talk about GTA 5 and do this at the same time. It's probably going to be pretty shit. If it is, I'll just move on to the next one and try and get gold in it at the end. Uh, oh, we got gold! Bloody hell, time, 60 seconds, 100%, that's spot on, okay. Uh, retry, we don't want to retry, we're on gold, that's fine. Okay, gold, uh, here we go, helicopter takeoff. This is what I'm a bit, you know, I'm not too keen on helicopters. Obviously, I am I think I'm pretty good at flying helicopters as well, uh, but I just prefer planes because they're faster, they're sort of more, I don't know, they're just more interesting to fly than helicopters, I find, anyway. Pull and hold R to accelerate upward. Okay, now it's dark, so it might be a bit challenging. I don't think you meant to fly in the dark uh, when you're just learning. Uh, keep gaining height. Okay, gaining, gaining. As you see, the altitude on the bottom left is going up. That reaches the top, and then it goes on to a second altitude bar, where you actually can go even higher. Okay, release R to stop rising and level off. I have. Now what? Rotate the helicopter 180 degrees. Yep. This is what I was saying. The RB and LB thing is only really useful for this. Hell, uh, 45 degrees. That's 45 degrees. Uh, left thumbstick towards the tilt helicopter. What? What's it on about? Uh, go forward and head for the corona. Okay, I don't know what that was about then. That was a bit confusing. Um, as I was saying, the helicopters in this game really do fly, I think, better than in GTA 4. They're more, they're more stable, I think. Uh, you need to bank, hold left. Oh, we got a, well, okay, gold, that's fine. So, helicopters in this game, actually, I, I believe they fly better in this game than they do in GTA 4. In GTA 4, they're really heavy, which might seem more realistic, but it's more fun, I think, to have it, you know, sort of arcade-like in this game, anyway. Land helicopter, okay, we just got a land helicopter, it seems. Uh, push, left stomach forward, there we go, go around. Do you reckon you can flip one of these backwards in this game? How awesome would that be? Uh, can you use the guns? Oh, shit, I just fired, I'm firing machine guns, I think. What's, oh, shit, I don't think I meant to do that. Do you imagine if you got in your first flying lesson and you started fucking shooting rockets at the instructor? That'd be... You'd pass, but by the fact that you're probably shooting at him and he's got no choice, uh, that'll do. Wouldn't it? Gold, there we go. So, the thing with... I, I actually, as I said I uh, plenty of times, I really do enjoy flying in this game. Destroy targets. Okay, maybe the instructor wants us to shoot at him. Uh, so, this is just... I don't know why you, this is part of learning to fly. I thought learning to fly means learning to fly, not learning to shoot and fly. Uh, destroy the three trucks. Destroy the three trucks at the end of the runway. Okay. So, uh, these are just rockets. I'm just going to keep firing. Is that the way to do it? Uh, okay, this should be... Uh, the thing with GTA 4 is really quite hard to aim and shoot. Uh... I sort of got the hang of it. Oh, that was pretty shit. I ended up getting bloody blown up. Uh, I sort of got a hang of it in the end, but shooting on GTA 4 is quite heavy due to the fact the handling of the helicopter is also quite heavy. You sort of have to fling it around quite a lot. Whereas this is much more, uh, I don't know what the word is, flimsy is in a good way. So uh, this could end quite badly, uh, as I've said. I don't know if this is going to go well or if I'm actually hitting any of these trucks. I've missed one, I think. Uh, we'll go back and try and shoot it. Uh, there we go. Now destroy the two moving cars to the southwest. Southwest. This wasn't included. Well, no, this is killing people. This is bad. Well, I, I say bad. We've been doing it the entire time playing GTA. But I mean bad for a, you know a lesson where you're learning to fly. Surely. Uh, there we go. There's one and one over there. Okay, trying to aim at him. There we go. He's done. Anyone else? Land on the runway. Quick, 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 quick. I take it the time to get it done before is a minute. That's my guess. So we got. Uh, tiny bit to land, four, five, four, three, that's my guess it's a minute anyway, one, dead on a minute, silver, come on, what was that for, time 60 seconds, We're gonna, should we try that again, I'm going to try that again, I think I can do better on that, 95%, as I was saying, gold is bloody hard to get, as we found out on the, uh, advanced driving school, you have to sort of, I think you have to get 100%, which is quite tough, possible, but very tough to do, and it takes several times, obviously, to get it right. So, uh, I think this bit's just luck, but dependent on if your rockets are going to hit uh, the targets, and they have. So that's good, we'll head back and quickly do this. This feels like a proper army helicopter, as you can see it is, obviously, but I mean, I don't know why they'd give you this as your first, you know, flying lesson. So, uh, anyway, we'll aim for these guys, I don't know if they're going to hit, uh, I think I hit him and him. There we go, that was spot on, I think, by me, don't you think? I thought that was alright, where's the thing? There's glitched, it's glitched, it's glitched, it's glitched. There we go, land on the runway. I was going to say, it bloody glitched then, that's not fair. Down here, I think that was spot on, don't you? I think that was fine. We land and see how it went. I thought that was spot on, 10 seconds quicker than last time. What? 50 seconds, 90% position score. Overall, oh, you have to land neatly at the end, do you? That's pretty stupid. You've got to admit, we'll try again. I'm just sorry. I'm I'm reluctant to you know failure. I don't like failure. I'm quite competitive and I do like to get 
you know, the best achievements as I can. So, uh, anyway, uh, which one's Fire Rockets? I think it's that one. Uh, okay, dan, 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 dan. Uh, okay, so I don't know if it's all about the time. I think it might just be about, uh, I, I, I'm swear, that's so not fair. The last one I done was spot on. I got all of them really quickly and then I, I landed it. I think you've got to land it as neat as possible. I don't know if it's all about time. Uh, we'll find out soon. We'll try and keep, if I don't pass on this one, I'll go on to the next one and come back to it at the end. Uh, but I, I, as I said, I do try and do my best in these flying things. As I said, I do really enjoy flying, so it'd be great if I could get all gold. Uh, so, I take it we've got to land sort of neatly in here. Final position. Uh, stop in the target zone for extra points. Where else am I going to... Yeah. So, I've got to land in here. I take, I take it neatly, so like, it can't get any neater than that. There we go, gold. So, it seems it wasn't all about the time, uh, which is fine. So, uh, we've got gold on that, which is spot on. Uh, next one, loop the loop. This is where it gets interesting, guys. Uh, this is sort of the stunt plane crop duster thing uh, that I love in GTA. So pull R, maintain your height, keep the plane level and head for the first groaner. So I take it when we hit the first groaner, we've got to pull back. Yeah, as soon as you hit the pull, pull back quickly and hold the left arm, we do a loop the loop. Okay, so as soon as we hit it, there, we go back and do a loop the loop. This is what's awesome about GTA. It's like it gives you so many different things to. You, Different modes of transport. God, there we go. It's fine. Different modes of transport, and you can use it however you want. So, in GTA 5, you might be able to use a submarine for various things. You might be able to like flip it upside down. I'm not sure. It's just a guess. Uh, barrel roll. Obviously, planes are just diverse. They can do loads of different movements. You can fly it however you want. But oh wow, look, smoke! I just realised that they do this. I'm going to keep it on. As soon as you hit the, we got to do a barrel roll. Okay, barrel is a bit more tricky to keep in line. Uh, you sort of have to do. Oh, what? What did I do? You see the red smoke there. I think I pulled it too early. Okay, uh, so the barrel rise, as I was saying, is a bit more tough to do, I think. It's more of you have to keep it level uh, while turning the plane round instead of wobbling all over the place. As soon as you hit the ground, pull left thumbstick directly left. Okay, we've got to do a barrel roll left. As you said, that wasn't a very good barrel roll. That was a pretty shitty barrel roll, but we might pass. We might pass uh, silver. Now I don't. That was a pretty shitty barrel. Roll. That was a bad example of one barrel. So you got to try and keep it level. Um, put the smoke on. So you got to try and keep it level. What in t instead of you know going upside down, then going down, then back up and down. You got to try and keep it at one altitude. So we'll try again. So down. No, that was shit. How bad was that? I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to pull. I'm trying to get it upside down and pull uh, up quickly so it sort of doesn't look right um put the smoke on i don't know if the smoke's putting me off or not uh this is gonna be a bit okay so just go a bit slower so okay now i've worked out what i'm doing wrong i've worked out what i'm doing wrong now okay we'll go back up uh i know what i was doing wrong so uh we'll try again i know what i'm doing i'm i'm trying instead of i turn it upside down and instead of pulling up i'm pulling down so i'm actually going closer towards the ground uh which is my fault. So, as soon as you, now the sun's coming up, that might give us a bit more confidence. So, I've got to pull up on the thing. So, like that. That's sort of right, but pretty shitty. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty crap. Um, okay, can we just crash this so I can try again? Sorry, I, I, I'm really content on getting gold. This is a bit tough. It, it might look easy, but I've been flying that other plane for quite a while, and that was... They're completely different handling. They're very, diff they're very different types of planes. So, uh, turn this again. Go up, and then that was spot on. You can't get any more perfect than that. You cannot. Thank you. There we go. It takes a bit of time to learn, but you get there in the end. I don't want to do this again. Let's crash it. Let's crash him. Boom. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's we got a gold on that, so that's fine. But how many more we got? Okay, this is the last one, guys. Parachute onto the target. We actually haven't done any parachuting in this game yet. That is something I completely forgot about. They completely took it out of GTA 4. Uh, and they brought it back in the ballad of Gay Tony. And I was really annoyed they didn't put it in GTA 4. Because the amount of times you just think you want to jump out of a plane. Uh, jump out of the helicopter and pull your parachute. And you just can't. Uh, pull back on the left arm stick. Slow your descent. Okay, so basically we've got a parachute. Parachuting on this game is very different to the ballad of Gay Tony, I think. Uh, it's probably going to be a lot more... Uh, the handling's gonna in Balligate on it is more sort of uh, okay land on target. It was more sort of uh, it was fast. It was sort of we were going through the air a lot faster. And in this game, it's sort of more slower and uh, 
more precise, I think. Look how slow we're going down. In the Battle of Gaetani, you go down uh, probably at the same speed you were free falling once you'd opened your parachute. That's how fast you were going down in the Battle of Gaetani. It was nothing wrong with it. It was awesome. Battle of Gaetani parachuting was a main part of why a lot of people bought it, but due to the fact of the new cars and the uh, the parachuting, because that was a huge part of GTA and San Andreas, as you can see, and uh, they took it, they completely wiped it out in the original GTA 4, which was, I don't, I don't know why they did. It's sort of one of the mistakes. I, they obviously may probably have a reason, but I think that was a bit of a mistake. So try and land in the middle uh, for the most points possible. There we go. I Is that a bronze? Is that a bronze? I landed, hang on, what time? 72, position score, overall score. Okay, so I think you got, you got to be quicker. Okay, mission pass respect. Sorry, guys, I need to get the gold, as I've said. Uh... We need to get this to gold. I do like, as I said, getting to gold. So I'll try and do it. I'm not going to listen to what, uh, read what it said because that's what slowed me down. I'm going to pull it when I want to pull it. Uh, that sounds a bit wrong. I'm going to pull the parachute when I want to pull the parachute. That sounds better. Okay, so as I was saying, GTA The Battle of the Gay Tony had parachuting, had base jumping, even had separate missions for it and particular missions for it, which was awesome. I'm not opening it now. I'm opening it when I want. There we go. I'll open it now. Uh, this, so this should be a bit closer uh quicker so 72 seconds was uh how long it took us last time which is <coughs> a minute what's that a minute 12 so we got to beat a minute 12 from 40 seconds at the minute uh we got to get the decent score again i think it was the time that let us down last time so if we get a golden this we have finished the flying score we have officially learnt to fly uh and we'll be able to carry on with Toreno's flying missions gold there we go Gold on every single one. Just to prove it. There we go. We'll start from the beginning. This is where we start. Took off. That was um, not too bad. Land plane. That was alright. Circle airstrip was a bit tough. I don't know how. Because on this circle airstrip and land. I got gold straight away. And then on the helicopter takeoff. That was fine. Uh, land helicopter. That was also fine. Uh, destroyed targets. That was a bit of a tough one. We had to take out. It was, it was more about uh, how you landed at the end. Whereas I thought it was more about taking out the trucks. Um, next one. Loop the loop. Loop the loop was pretty easy. Barrel roll was tough. Probably the toughest one we had. Uh, mainly because I was, was trying to work out what way to pull the analog. Uh, and then parachute onto target. We had to do it in a quicker time. So gold on every single one just to check there we go and uh yeah we finished so that is the advanced driving school done and as you can see we've got a plane mission over here uh i'm not gonna do it because this has probably been quite a long video uh look at all these planes helicopter and then i think there's a bike over there and then oh we will answer this call just look at these planes they're awesome hello carl it's woozy hey woozy man what you been up to come along and see for yourself i got a little business proposition for you Come over and see the setup, my friend. Okay, for sure. I like that. Like it? You're gonna love it! It's the Four Dragons Casino in Las Venturas. I'll see you soon, yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, so Woodsy is back, guys. Uh, that's the triad sign in yellow. It was in red, so uh, now it's in yellow. So we can go do missions for Woodsy if we want now, but uh, we're not gonna do that for the minute. We're, I'm gonna end the video here, but I just wanted to sort of look around this place very quickly. So we got the army helicopter we were using, the stunt helicopter there, uh, the plane, that sort of war, I don't know what that is, that sort of looks like uh, a sort of, you know, some sort of um, war plane, I'm not really sure what it is, uh, but we have these flying vehicles now, how awesome is that, it sort of looks like a jet fighter over there, one they'd use in the, uh, you know, 1940s sort of war, uh, World War One, World War Two sort of plane, so that's pretty awesome, um, so, uh, we now we've now got this plane mission over here as you can see that's probably uh something to do with treno i guess and then we've got Woodsy's mission as i said i'm gonna leave Woodsy's like last time i'll leave Woodsy's mission um until we finish all of treno's i take it this is treno's because he wanted us to learn how to fly and it looks like we're going to be doing some awesome plane missions so that should be really exciting to do uh so yeah keep an eye out for the next episode where we will be carrying on with these plane missions so that was really fun to do guys hope it was enjoyable for you to watch as well so thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day remember feel free to like comment and subscribe for more videos also feel free to like my facebook page where i'll be posting my latest videos news and info on gta as well as other games so again thanks for watching and have an awesome day